more playing around. Oh, oh hang on. Whoa, 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 oh crap, why am I, why am I not loading, why, why is it, ah, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, no, stop trying to chase me, don't chase me, bro, don't chase me, wait, no, stop it, stop it, stop, 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 stop. wait, 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 ah, no, I dropped it, I dropped the magazine, I dropped the magazine, ah, oh god, no, why, why, Okay, so before I start talking about this game, this this incredible, incredibly difficult game, um, I'm going to- oh my god, that's- that's- that's pretty much an exclamation right there. I am terrible at it! It- it- I am really bad at this game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have my moments, you know, it's great. I get, like, really cool shots off and everything, but, like, um, I say it's difficult, it's not really difficult, but it takes a while to get used to. I mean, I've been playing it for, like, two, three days, maybe four days, not too sure, something like that. Um, so yeah, what is Receiver? Receiver is an indie FPS game made by Wolffire Games, and they made it in seven days for a competition, and it is incredible. I mean, like, the graphics, you know, graphics are alright, they're not nothing special, but, you know, I think it adds to the atmosphere of the game in some way, if I could say that. I guess you could say that. I mean, you know, if they had textures, like real textures, I, I think, I don't think it would work quite as well. I mean, like, the models themselves, I mean, like, really low, low poly, low, yeah, I mean, which is understandable, you know, made in seven days. Um, yeah, why can't I, oh. safety? Nope, not safety. How many ammo? I've got ammo. Oh, why don't I drop it on the floor? Wait, put it back in. Right, slide the lock, there we go, right, there we go. So, um, this game is, oh, wow. See? I have my pro moments. So, um, yeah, this game is really, really, like, focused on the, uh, gun mechanics. Like, um, you know, the slide lock. I mean, if I open up the, uh, help tab here, this is all you need to get your gun ready to fire. That, that's, that's all to ready to fire. I mean, like, you know, pull back the slide. Let me just pick up that. Um, I can't, don't know if I can pull back the hammer right now. Can I pull back the hammer? No. I'm not too sure why I can't. Um, you know, it's got all this stuff, check the magazine, check how many bullets you got, um, insert a magazine, pull out the magazine, put the gun away, put some ammo in, pull the gun out, put the magazine back in, and you're ready to go again. Um, I have a slide to lock, so, yep, there we go. Um, but yeah, it's totally focused on the uh, gun mechanics rather than anything else, really. Not that they didn't add anything else, you know, there's a story as well. Um, the story's a little hard to uh, get to grips with, though. I haven't, I mean, you see the top right, where it says, zero tapes absorbed out of 11. I've absorbed about five in my time playing, and it does explain it quite well from like the first one if you get it, but like, um, they're random, if that makes sense. So like, each tape that you grab will be different to another tape, and it doesn't matter like what order you get them in, if that makes any sense. So um, as I do, the story is, in some way, some form or way, this is our mind that we are in right now. I think, I think that's what it is. Oh, did I? Is that all? Okay, right, I shot out his gun. So yeah, um, if I just quickly explain this, you can shoot out the camera of the turrets, or you can shoot the gun of the turrets, or you can, you know, shoot it in, or just destroy them completely, I guess. And um, that's like three ways of deactivating them. Obviously the most easy way is just to let, ha let hell loose on them or whatever, and you know, fill them with lead. But it's a lot easier and conserves ammo if you shoot them, you know, with the camera or the gun or whatever. Um, so yeah, the story is, finally get around to talking about it. So, sorry, they make a beeping noise when they see you as well. So yeah, the story, apparently, I think what I've gathered from it so far is this is your mind. Like, this whole area, everything, it's all in your mind. And, um, the, there's like, mind kill or something? Something to do with mind kill. Basically, like, someone's got control over you, and, uh, how can I say, how can I say, how can I put it together? Um, someone's got control over you, and the second that these robots kill you, your mind dies. And obviously, when your mind dies, you die. And, uh, you have to escape, escape from this place by absorbing these tapes. And the, uh, tapes help you get back into reality, if that makes any sense. So, since he dies, goddammit. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's an incredible game. I mean, like the g gameplay mechanics are incredible. Words cannot describe. You know, I mean, like I'm sat here and I'm playing around, and oh, there's a tape. Okay, I can show you a little bit of story here. Um, but like, um, if you get die, if you get died, if you get dead, if you get tasered or shot, like you die, that's it. It's like you don't have like a health system. It's just like the second you get hit, that's it, death. And um, you get reset, and there's no checkpoints. You get started back at the start. Or you get started back at the start. That's not a way to phrase it. Um, with zero tapes, and you have to start all over again. Which I say isn't actually a bad thing. It's like um, it's quite it. You know, gives that tension. You know, it's like every moment could be your last, which is really deep and really cool. But like um, it's it's just awesome. It it really adds to like a, a fear aspect level of it, I guess. But um, anyway, I'm going to grab a tape here. I'm going to let him talk just to give you an idea of what the tapes do and everything like that. Okay. So, oh, you also pick up ammo and flashlights and there's two other guns you can use. I'll talk about them in a bit. Go. You are listening to the first tape of the Perpetual set. This set of tapes represents the most critical receivings so that future humans will have the information they will need after the mind kill. This set, when listened to sufficiently and in its entirety, has been speculated to be the minimum teachings needed to achieve an awake state. Besides this tape, the tapes included in this set are Firearm Operation, Initiation Tape A, Mind Tech, Reality B, Mind Tech Clear Tape, Mind Kill Contingency. Well, she so, as I was t saying before, the tape discussed uh, exactly everything, pretty much. He actually did talk about everything in kind of in as little detail as he could, but he got the main aspects. Um, there are three types of guns. Um, I can't remember what this gun's called. Um, you get a you get a Glock, um, you, which is pretty easy and simple to use, and it has a what's the uh, an auto fire, I guess. Full auto? Full auto, that's it. Full auto, where it shoots a full clip in about a second. Um, there's also a six shooter, which I think is a lot easier to reload and everything, and it's a more powerful gun. Um, and this one, which is, you know, pretty standard, I guess. I, I don't know what it's called. I'm so sorry. Uh, but it, it's a gun. It's a gun! That's, 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 that's pretty much it. How do I... There we go. Okay. And, um, so yeah. That's kind of all, I guess. Not entirely, actually, no. Because um, if you if you hold down the gun, you have to press Q to aim the gun up or right mouse button, dependent on your preference. And you can sprint, which is www.www.www. You basically have to tap it as to how long you want to run or how fast you want to run, etc. And um, there's also C, which allows you to crouch. These are advanced help options. Um, so that's kind of all you need to know about the game. Did I get it? Did I get it? I think I got it. It did a blue thing anyway. Um, but uh, th oh. Oh, 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 god, oh god. Uh, if, if you do shoot them, and a blue spark, uh, you know, flies off them or whatever, then um, that means you shot something critical on them, and they probably won't be able to do much after that. I guess unless you get close. I'm not too sure. You can demonstrate it, I guess. Try. Where is it? Like that. See a little blue spark kind of flew off him. Right, that that means they're dead. So yeah, that's uh, that's receiver for you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed um, me failing at it. Um, as I, I hear another one coming behind me. Coming behind. Ah, no, no, no. I don't even know where it is. That's really bad. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah. If you sprint free, you probably gonna die too. That's about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.